Today I'm going to show you how you can create a custom presentation scene. Uh, first of all, I want to show you some folder. This is where our standard presentation scenes are located underneath the SolidWorks folder. Uh, I've created a, a folder, another folder outside of SolidWorks on my F drive. Just called it SolidWorks Custom Scenes. In that custom scenes, I've also put it in a subfolder. This doesn't have to be in the subfolder, but I've got this image file, a JPEG, uh, for my image. If I open that up, so here's basically my image. So I've got this dummy model. I'm going to right click in the background and I can edit scene. Uh, scenes are made up of two different files. Uh, you have one file for the background. The background is what you see behind you or behind your model. And the environment. The environment are basically what you see in your reflections. So if you have a nice chrome plated model, uh, the reflection that you see here. So, for example, here you see the the black and the and the white in the in the scene. The background can be no background, or you can have colors. You can have a gradient background or image, or you can use your environment file as your background. I'm going to use my environment back file as my background, so that way my reflections kind of match the background. And for my environment, I'm going to browse to that image file that was on my F drive and SolidWorks custom scenes in the background folder. And there's my image. Uh, if you have your your shadows turned on basically this is where you can set your shadows i've got mine set to where it's basically offsetting the model so basically it's using the the bottom of the model to basically make it to where it looks like the model is actually on the ground and not not flying off in space if i go to my advanced tab advanced tab i can do some more adjusting where I could rotate the the image, I could make the width and depth different. Uh, but the most important thing here is this is where I can actually save my scene. And I'm going to save my scene in this folder. And notice it is a save as, so you don't have to worry about overriding an existing scene unless you save keep the same name. But I'm going to save it in this custom. SolidWorks custom scenes folder and I'll just call it my scene and it'll be a, a dot p2s file extension that'll be the file extension for scenes and hit my save button so now I should be able to reuse it now one thing I will point out to the environment it's really best if your image is actually a, a panoramic image you can see where basically it's doesn't really map to, to fit the globe that this model is in to define the environment and I'll just close out this file and I'll create a new one And to be able to reuse the scene, I can go to my drop down list. And you may have to manage your, your favorites and add that new scene to the list and check it. But well, mine's already checked, and little asterisk means it's actually a custom. Uh, which I forgot to mention earlier, but you will need to make sure that your tools options and your file locations and your custom scenes are mapped to that folder.
uh, should have mentioned that in the very beginning, but anyway, this is important. So now I can use my, my scene. Put my Chrome on it. Now flat faces really don't reflect very well, so let's put some fillets in the corner. And now in the rounded corner, you can see the reflections. So that's how you create scenes in SolidWorks. I want to thank you for watching.